But what many don't know is that he almost missed his cue. All the drugs and all the alcohol and all the, the life I was living and the, just the bad relationships I was in. And I was depressed and angry and I just snapped one day and I said, I, I have to, I want to die. And Patty Millette is Bieber's mother. As a teenager, she tried to commit suicide. I just, I ran outside and I thought I timed it perfectly. I was on a pretty busy street. I, and I tried to kill myself and get hit by a car. I'm just wanting an escape. But you wound up Millette was used to escaping. At 15, she left home. For years, she'd been keeping a dark secret. The sexual abuse in my life started when I was about five years old until I was about 10 or so. When I became a teenager, that's sort of when I started exploring with drugs and alcohol and some things to try and relieve, relieve the pain that way and just mm -hmm. experimented with uh, crime and the wrong kinds of people and just trying to do anything to, you know, get some joy. Though escape was the goal, ironically, after her failed suicide attempt, she lost her freedom, ending up in the mental health ward of a hospital. Months later, after falling back into old habits, she wound up alone and pregnant. I thought, oh my gosh, I took my life back into my own hands and I'm all by myself and I'm pregnant. God help me. On March 1st, 1994, Justin Drew Bieber was born. Justin is not just healthy like I pray, but like I said, he's really talented. Um, he's been putting up videos on YouTube. What a just, voice. Oh. You would never believe could come out of, and out of voice. you. Um, and it's so weird because he's 18, and that's exactly how, you, how old you were when you had him. Yeah, I was yeah. his age. Yeah, his age. And you write this book, and, and, uh, and you share a lot of of really, you had a tough life. You had a lot of really rough things happen to you. You kind of you kind of put it all out there. And why was that important for you to share that with everyone? Because I know that when I was going through tough times and people would share their stories and things that they've come through, it would inspire me to keep going. Mm -hmm. And so I really wanted to write about my struggles and my triumph mm -hmm. to help others know that there's hope. You were on government assistance mm -hmm. a lot. And uh, neighbors help you, the church helped yeah. you, because you really didn't have any money at all. Right. And you're raising a kid, and you're a teenager, and uh, that's just, and, and, and look who you raised. I mean, look what you've done. You've raised, he's so polite, he is so well-mannered, he's so giving, he's so compassionate. You did, you did real good. I like him. <laughs> that he thinks your book is going to change some people's lives. I hope so. In, in what way? Um, I, I just... I talk a lot about the struggles and things that I've overcome and I just, if I can overcome them and if I can get through and get to healing, anybody can. And it's not about me having a pop star for a son, it's about going, getting healing and working through some tough things and not staying stuck. This is the book. It talks about abuse, talks about depression that she endured, and also how she came out on the other side. Uh, nowhere but up is what it's called. But first, here's a look at her with her boy. This is my mom. This is my mom. She's little, but she's beautiful. And thank you so much. I want to thank you for just always believing in me. I've been telling my story for um, a really long time and um, sharing it since before Justin started his career. And, you know, over the years I've had a lot of people say, you know, you should really write this down. You should write it in a book. And um, so that's why I did it. I wanted to help others. And, and um, I've, by sharing it, a lot of people have been inspired. Tell them what, what you're talking about in this book. Yeah, it's, um, it's a story of my life. And, um, you know, it's, I had a really tough upbringing. I really wanted to help inspire others. And I've seen a lot of good reactions through telling my story. Just hopefully getting across my story and helping other people through some of their pain. You had such a negative impression of yourself. And I mean, I think that so many girls, particularly young girls, can relate to that. I mean, in the book, you write about feeling like you were worthless, like you were, that no one would ever kind of love you. Yeah, I, I had really low self-esteem and, um, you know, suffered with, just the depression and the anxiety and and it was it was you know looking back in my journals I, I wrote a lot of nasty things about myself you know I'm fat I'm ugly and I'm lazy and and uh, I didn't think much of myself. You tell other especially young girls because I mean there's a lot of people who right now are in the situation you were in 
back then. Um, wh what's your message to them? It's a message of hope. I know when I was in like the darkest parts of my life and in, in such deep depression, I just, I wanted to find one person who could say, I've been where you are and I'm not there now. Mm. You can come out of it. I want to help, you know, I want to help give back. And so I created this um, foundation called Nowhere But Up mm -hmm. Foundation. Awesome. And, um, and so through that, I also want to help give back to um, single parent homes, help with counseling for people that can't afford it, um, and help with addiction. You, when you go to these places and you talk to these girls, what's one thing that you want them to know, especially in the midst of their pain that they're going through? Just hold on. Mm -hmm. Like, don't give up. Just hold on. I was still angry, anxious, sad, depressed, and you know, there was still more healing I had to go through. Even while Justin was going through his fame, I was still going through counseling and getting healing. Yeah. And um, and so that's that's the best part for me. Awesome. Thanks, Patty. Yeah. Thank you.